all around me in this forest are superhero mushrooms. These are the most studied mushrooms on Earth. And through mechanisms, which I'll explain later, they can help get rid of viruses and help cure cancer. If you've ever gone for a hike in the woods, no doubt you've come across it, even if you didn't know how to identify it. Dirk Dale. It's one of the most common mushrooms all over the world. It's a mushroom that has been used in antiquity on every populated continent. The Chinese and Japanese doctors use it all the time. And yet, not every oncologist in the Western world even knows about the healing powers of this incredible mushroom. You actually look at the science or you don't. And that is why I'm making this video. This is Turkey Tail. The Turkey Tail Mushroom Colorful Delight Today we're doing a deep dive on the turkey tail mushroom. I'm going to fill you in on a few of the hundreds of studies that have been done on this mushroom showing how beneficial it is. I'm going to show you how to see it in the woods, how to identify it, not mistake it for other mushrooms, not a turkey tail, how to then use it. And then of course, make sure you have in the back of your head a couple of things you have to be careful about when using turkey tail mushroom. For a quick background, as a biologist, my goal is to understand the world better. Huge! It's in Look at that. And I am blown away that much of the English speaking world doesn't use mushrooms every day. Because of that, I've been on a bit of a quest to bring awareness to the underground world of mushrooms. As a society, we've probably become skeptical of mushrooms because, well, some can kill you. It's a destroying angel. And the powers that be may have also encouraged its erasure from history because some can give you incredible personal insights. According to studies, is as effective as the leading antidepressant medication. And even if we lost our ancestral knowledge and use of mushrooms, which we did have, we should be willing to use science to understand how to use these mushrooms now and into the future. That's why I found the world's leading expert on medicinal mushrooms, Robert Rogers. He wrote the definitive books reviewing the current science on these mushrooms. So I asked him to tell me about his favorite study on turkey tail mushrooms. They took several hundred patients who had colorectal cancer. They did surgery, they cut out the cancerous part, resect it up, the intestine and then sent them home. And uh, half the group they gave turkey tail extract, very small, one gram twice a day. The other group they gave a placebo. And then they followed them for the rest of their lives. And the group that received the uh, control placebo lived an average of 4.6 years after the surgery, which is right under that five-year survival rate that is always bragged about by cancer centers. The other group who actually received the turkey tail lived an average of 10.6 years, fully six years more. We should know that. I think people who are undergoing cancer therapy should know that kind of information. Oncology centers should know it. Oncologists should know it because they will often say, don't take any supplement while you're taking a chemotherapy or a radiation session. And that is absolutely unscientifically true. You can't say that you're practicing evidence-based medicine and then ignore it, right? It's one or the other. You actually w look at the science or you don't. What is even more shocking to me is that this is just one of hundreds of human clinical trials that he has summarized and written about in his book here. Many of them double-blind placebo studies. Another one he summarizes here in the book is a study on HPV. They were treated for their cervical cancer. They were divided into two groups. One just had normal treatment. The other one had the normal treatment plus an extract of turkey tail mushrooms. After one year, the one that didn't have mushrooms 47% had normal pap smears. That meant 53% still had cancer. But the ones that were given mushrooms, 72% had normal pap smears after the course of that year. That to me is fantastic. Diving into this book and I look at every different study that he highlights in here, it's generally a different form of looking at cancer treatment with or without turkey tail extract added. And then the one with turkey tail extract always has a slightly better outcome. But it still blows me away that many of my American friends who are dealing with cancer at the moment have never had a doctor who presented anything about turkey tail extract, nor if they go in and talk to him about turkey tail extract, do they have any idea what that even is. So I asked Robert Rogers why more oncologists aren't presenting this as an option in cancer treatment. Education. 
the way they're educated in medical school. I feel like we're at the time where it's changing. It is changing. Some of the uh, younger physicians that I talk to and do courses for and with, they're way more open and they're understanding a lot that there is a place for very strong pharmaceuticals, but there's also a place for helping people learn how to take care and eat better. And they, they look at what they surround their lifestyle with so that they actually don't have to rely on end-of-life kind of medications. They can actually promote their own well-being through the use of good foods, adding mushrooms into your diet. Now, maybe you're curious about mixing turkey tail into your diet. If that's you, you should probably first beef up on your taxonomy. What are you looking at when you see a turkey tail mushroom? Well, it can look like this, or it can look like this. Color is slightly variable. They can start out small, like the ones I have on the log here, or they can get quite large in cultivated forms. And not everyone calls it turkey tail. In Holland, it's called this. Elfenbankje, which means a fairy bench. Or in Germany, this. Schmetterlingstramete, which translates to butterfly tramete. More generally, it's a type of shelf fungus, a polypore. That means if you flip it over, you're going to see microscopic pores. That's very different than the gilled mushrooms you might have seen in more classic looking mushrooms. It does have a few lookalikes. That is mushrooms that grow on logs with this general flattened shape. If you see one, you got to go up to it, flip it over. If there are teeth on the bottom like this, or if there's any gills, or if the bottom isn't fully white with pores, then you're looking at a different mushroom. I'm leaving links to good identification videos below. But if you've gotten this far, then you're in luck because there really are no toxic lookalikes that you have to be worried about. It's also nice to know that it grows all over the world and has been used by indigenous communities for thousands of years. For example, in Australia, the Aborigines sucked on the polar pore to treat sores in their mouths. In Mexico, it was applied topically to treat ringworm. And in China and Japan, it's used for cancer treatments. So that really begs the question, what exactly is in this mushroom that allows it to take the title for the most studied mushroom in the world? Especially when other more famous mushrooms like the Amanita muscaria here have almost no studies on it. I've decided it's basically five things. First, they have incredibly high amounts of beta-glucans. Those are polysaccharides found in the cell walls of mushrooms that they stimulate the immune system. They're very good for our health. And in turkey tail mushrooms, we're talking upwards of 60%. Secondly, they have a lot of antioxidants. Third, they're really good for gut health, supporting a healthy gut microbiome. Essentially, they are full of prebiotics. And four, EPSP, which is a compound found in this mushroom, when taken, helps to regulate the body's insulin levels. And five, it contains PSP and PSK. Those are protein-bound polysaccharides that the Japanese and Chinese researchers found, and they rank high for the best thing found in this mushroom. Now, PSK is fascinating, and it is the key to understanding why all of this is studied. So, as a background, this compound comes from a 10-day fermentation of the mycelium, not actually the fruiting body. A lot of people mix that up. So you get a bag, which is full of the growing mycelium of this mushroom, and they found a way to patent this process. In doing so, they pulled out this protein-bound polysaccharide, PSK, and then they knew they had something on their hands because they could make money from it. They put in over a billion dollars, it's estimated, to studying this compound PSK, in addition to PSP, which is the Chinese version of it. And since they were trying to figure out how to use it for people, they had to do a ton of studies. That's why all of the research was done on this. And this also brings up a huge problem that we all face when we look at natural medicines. So if you have a drug that can be patented, you have to run it through a ton of testing. If it's a natural medicine, one, you don't have to run all the tests, but two, nobody is going to invest in the research needed to see is it beneficial or is it just an old wives' tale that this thing heals you? Is it a placebo, right? So everything from chamomile to Amanita muscaria, which I've done videos on, there's almost no studies on it because you can't make a lot of money on it. Of course, the wild form is also extremely beneficial. Paul Stamets famously used it with his mother who had stage four breast cancer. The doctor gave her less than three months to live. Added turkey tail extract to her cancer treatment. And then she started taking eight turkey tail capsules a, a day. And then nine years later, he brought her up on stage in his famous TED talk. My mother has no detectable tumors. And I'd like to bring my mother up. 
obviously that's an anecdote, but we're also looking at tons of studies which are pointing to the exact same thing. It's extremely beneficial. Turkey tail is the name and it's got the power to heal your body every minute, every hour. If you want to start mixing this mushroom into your diet for free, here are the steps to follow. First, go outside and find it. Then, while you could chew on the mushroom during a hike, it's not very palatable. You're not going to eat it. Instead, you have to do a hot water extraction. That means you cut it up, drop it into a tea, and then add water that's about 80 degrees Celsius. That means it's not quite boiling. Boiling water for too long will denature the compounds within it. So let that simmer sit for eight to 10 minutes, then you just drink it. Since beta-glucans and other polysaccharides are water soluble, I think this is the best way to extract the compounds. It's a cancer fighter, a true superhero, boosting your immune system like a pro. From the forest, it comes with its vibrant hues. A rainbow of health as a turkey tail news. At this stage, if you're using turkey tail mushroom, you have to be careful of, or at least aware of, a few things. I specifically asked about contraindications to Robert Rogers. Is it dangerous in any way? And taken over a period of time, uh, the melanin uh, pigmentation will increase and, and turn your fingernails a dark brown, which is not really harmful and goes away once you stop taking them. But for people who don't know, that's a big issue. I'm now convinced everyone should know about the turkey tail mushroom. I'm also hoping that after watching this, you now have a better understanding of generally how it affects your health, how it affects people's cancer treatments. I'm also hoping that you can go out into the woods and identify it on your own. Wouldn't that be a great day if everyone could go out and identify a turkey tail? And if you're adventurous, I would encourage you to go find it and make a tea out of it. If you do try that, let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. Did you like the taste? Did you not like the taste? And if you're interested in more videos about medicinal mushrooms, I've made a whole bunch of them. One of them is right here. All of these are going into one of my future courses, which is on mywild.online. My patrons get free access to all of my courses just as a way to help me make more of them because it's gonna be slow to start. Dad, you're sweating. What? You're sweating. Mushroom magic heals through and through. Turkey tail, how we love you. Maybe see you in the woods one day. All right, see you in the next video.